<laughs> oh, I love it. As time goes by, it's just like, I'm so hard. <laughs> Stool Scenes episode 65. That's Whoa. a quick shout out to Eric Carlson. That's only 65 I can really think of I at can't the think, moment. I can't think of a 65 right now. Uh, Joe and Jersey is number 64. Whoa. I think. That's, that's close. Kind of like the that's, karate kid. That's what's so weird. The Cobra Kai. He's back. YouTube Red. No free ads. And there you go. We have Bill Simmons live in the studio. Hey. And we have Barstool Trent, who I, I didn't think you, you said you weren't going to do it, but I guess you're now and in. And then you guys I, came to where I was sitting and I just didn't move. I'm actually sitting in your seat. Kind of a prima nocta situation, if you will. There's also a very loud fire alarm you may be able to hear. But something else that you may have heard this weekend, so we like to call segue, my man. <sighs> LeBron James screaming in Dave's face. Sitting on the wood is nice. Bill, you've done it many times. As the original blogger from Boston, uh, my seats were closer. I was actually sitting on the bench, the Cavs bench. I'm a Clippers fan. <laughs> and unfortunately, the Celtics lost, which I know as a big Boston sports guy, you're... My dad's upset, I'm sure. And he screamed right in Dave's face. It's a bad moment. Ah! He said, you will leave. You will leave. Thing on the uh, Nate stuff. I know who it is. I mean, clearly. But he, this kid has wiped his fucking existence, so it's like... Was it the brother of the one? No. That, it's oh. this kid, Ryan, who's in a... Uh, we'll just say Ryan. And he's at, in a, he's in Fisai at UPenn. He's a freshman. I know who it is. He's wiped himself, so I haven't, like... I don't know whether I just, that's punishment enough that he can never come back on social media, like ever. But I know who it is. And the kids should know that I know. Because I do know. Was I like next? Attack? No, I haven't. I mean, he's off social media. I was debating going there. Yeah. And just like, pying this kid. Yeah. <laughs> His punishment should be like, like, maybe bring the whole company, everybody has a pie. He should come in here. And, and we just wait for him and just pie. He sits in the middle and everyone just goes up and says, this is, like, uh, this is for Nate. Oh, this is for Nate. Oh. I don't know. He deserved it. I don't know. It's just, yeah, no. It, he does deserve it. Uh, yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. So it wasn't that kid with the mom, like the... It wasn't the brother. The brothers are friends with them. I think one of them was in that same to. frat. And by the way, it's the, it's the kid in the video. It's like the kid talking, that idiot in the video. That's who I believe this Ryan character is. But it's like a hundred, like I, a million flooded. Like it's this kid, it's this kid, it's this kid. I'm friends with this kid, it's this kid, it's this kid. I mean, it's I don't know if like he thought he not. I mean, instant. Because when I saw him scream, he screamed right. right there. When I saw him scream, that's I like, the exaggeration that was in my face. I, mean, I think I, he I was screaming at me. What did you do? I, I, I just, I mean, what can you do at that? Did you laugh? No, I was just like, this isn't good. I don't know. I, it was tough. I wasn't laughing. It was the end of the game. It's I like, at that point, I, I think he. I'm not saying he knew who I was, but he screamed at me. Like he looked directly at me and screamed. Like eye contact? Oh yeah. All right, because think about it. <laughs> He's yelling at him the whole game. You're yelling at him the whole game. I mean, it was, I, I yelled at him enough. You're saying stuff where he hears it coming from that corner. He knows that you've been at all these games. I mean, I mean, maybe he doesn't know you've been at all these games. I mean, he but... screamed. He looked right at me. What? You can't see, but you can kind of see it. <laughs> like you can, it, it, it was directly at me. It was terrible. <laughs> it was bad. Yeah. You look in slow motion, he looks around, and then... Locks, he looks, you just can't see him in... Uh, uh, yeah, it's literally, but if you, like, do the... There's, like, a cab lady, like, on one corner, and I'm on the other. He screamed right at me. It was terrible. There has to be a shot of 
that. I mean, it would have to be from the other angle, in the back. I couldn't see it. Yeah, the Celtics like probably have it like a uh, all yeah. angle. Cause they have those ISO we games have to too. He's just like that was terrible. <laughs> that was terrible. I mean, where do you go from here with LeBron? Well, hopefully they get swept. I mean, but yeah, it was not great to say the least. You missed the night before when I said I wanted to overdose on heroin. Oh Jesus Christ! I was hiding. Real tough, Dave. <laughs> I, I, before I go, yeah, this is screaming. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm right glad that happened. didn't happen to me. Screaming. Of all the things that could have happened, I'm glad that like wasn't people, it. Was we, we made eye contact and just screamed. <laughs> From like how close? Like you to Coley? Like me to you. Real you scared, but you can see you. He just walked and right over and fucking went crazy. Of all the people Screamed at by LeBron. That's the one. Back, can you stare at him, Dave? Yeah, you, you, you do that? So just like, <laughs> like, were you just like, uh, I, I, it was just like, this stinks. <laughs> like, alright, man, let's do it. <laughs> it's, like, it's nothing to do. It's like, we're, we just got eliminated, and it's like he was screaming at my face. <laughs> now, it is intern season, Devlin. Your first one, not as an intern slave. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. That's a real you. smile. Right? That is a real smile. Sure. And long time coming. This is a real starter jacket. I just took from the closet. It's a long time Whoa, coming. Whoa, but Bill's not here on this one. This Bill's is Devlin. Dead. And we had a guy come in. He said it at Nate's desk, which is, take it from me, you don't want to get in Nate's way or his property. And the Bandera butthole, as well as yourself. Well, as me, look, I sit right in front here. Every time the elevator door opens, it could be the last time. <laughs> Or it's like shag Jesus walking in. You never know. That's This is what life is like on the front line. So when Tex came over, I'd already grabbed a hockey stick. I was ready to bash stranger brains. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, 
Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I just, you were supposed to die. Like, no, I to be he kept his in cards intrigued. real close. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. Also, Texas is psycho. He would have had it if he didn't walk into the wall. Yeah. Once you walked into the wall, he was wall, here last night with us, too. You knew, you knew the layout. He got nervous. He had his I head down. I, you out. could tell. It's a rookie mistake. Yeah, looking back on it, it was I mean, you know, he had his head down. He was like scurrying through. It was all Right. And the idea was we wanted to test the security here because, like, we were convinced for the longest time that kids could literally honest. live here for like a month Jessica and no one was saying anything. He had the under the so armpit good. grip, he was yeah. ready to drag him out. It's good that that's no longer the case. So we proved the point proven. It was just our, our routine monthly check of security. Now we just addressed a little bit of intern season going on. One guy that also came in unannounced but wasn't thrown out by text, the double vodka Don. Mm. I mean, this is a guy, he's large and in charge. Supposedly, what is it, your wife's favorite Boyfriend or something? He yells a lot on the Ohio State Vice Royal. Yeah, stuff. I'm not familiar. I will say I just want to give a shout out to the original uh, Double Vodka. The guy on the Blackout Tour do our intro, and he, there was a newscast, and they'd say, how many bottles of vodka you got? And he'd go, those bottles! So anyways, he came in. Something There was some discrepancies as far as what had gone on in his hiring process. He had to sit down with the tastemaker himself. That's a seat that, it's a hot seat to be in. It's in during day, there's people coming and going, it's fucking crazy. But uh, Big Ab just rolled in, and he's not really been invited yet. I talked to him about an internship because Dave was like, get him an internship. But then we found out he had like a checkered past. Um, to, put it, to put it lightly, I don't know if it's true or false, but anyway, so we left it where Big Ab had to talk with Dave so Dave could clear it as an intern. Dave and him never connected. Big Ab walked in and sat down like he's an intern. So, Dave doesn't know he's here. He's not supposed to be here. Um, maybe he'll end up here, but it's, it's just another drama, right? I was with intern days. You never know what's happening. Just hanging out. Yeah, why? Tell, tell the people what your, your game plan is right now. Just waiting on waiting to talk to Dave. Just chilling. See what he's got to say. What about what? Like, set it up for the people. So, you're going to work here? Just waiting to talk. Uh, pretty. I'm, I'm just interested myself, waiting to see what uh, what he's got to say. Just waiting to hear what he's got to say, open for whatever. All right, bro. You got any, like, secrets up your sleeve that you're going to, like, hit him with? Like, yo, this is why you need me? I can't play my hand right now. Wait, got to wait for the uh, wait I for mean, the you could. He's, he won't hear it before you come in, but. Uh, I'll wait in uh, all the world to see when, uh, when that conversation comes about. I like that. He's a showman. <laughs> Putting people in, you're supposed to talk to him before he came in, and he never talked to you, and he still showed up. All right. All right, take a seat. All right, your arrest. I, what? What is that all about? It was, I, was, uh, I was selling weed, and um, <clears throat> when I was going to college, and I went to Coastal Carolina. My first like year and a half of school. I was selling weed there, um, someone ratted on me. They raided my house and got arrested. What, why were people saying like, the rape charges and shit like that? Okay, so what, so, I don't know if you've heard, there's a website called mugshots.com. Yeah. And since it's South Carolina, it's public record. So what they do is they put like a, like a statue, like a blanket statement. So what it said was on the thing, it said like, you Google like my name, whatever, it says like, it's manufacturing, it's just like selling or like slash like manufacturing slash like whatever schedule, like one, two, three, four, or this drug, or this drug, or this drug. And one of the drugs listed, I guess, was a date rape drug. But that, I had absolutely nothing to do with that. It's, it's a, like, they actually done like documentaries on mugshots.com because they basically try to fuck you. They like, obviously got your name on there. They got like a, a date rape drug to be with all this other shit. So they try to like get you to like say like pay like 400 bucks or whatever and like wipe it off. Like Mugshots though. Yeah, they doing like a documentaries on it and stuff. So that was really what happened because that was I was figuring out when a uh, text called me or whatever. That's why I sent um, Paul and um, text all like my information and stuff when that happened. It was just weed. That's it. I just got arrested for selling weed. And I was gonna do like a program. I was gonna drug test and do like uh, like see like a. Uh, like we might have three or four days for dealing weed. Well, I mean, it was like that was how long I was in there for. Like when it happened, and then like when I got out, and then I got I was on like. Kind of like, not like probation, they do, I think it was called like PTI, like a post-trial intervention, I think it's so for and like, just to get like drug tested and like, just go to like meetings and like stuff like that, so like I did all that, and that's why like, it's just like now, it's like a, just like a misdemeanor weed possession, it's like what's on my record. How long were you selling weed for? Uh, like that semester, like four, like five months. 
I just need someone to tell me what's going on. Not what's going on. I want to make sure, like, did you ever think, by the way, to mention it? I mean, obviously, it's like, yeah. would have been better if you led with, like, oh, by the way, I got arrested for dealing weed and you're going to see it. Oh, no, I, I see. I, like, said the story, like, to, like, Chuck and, like, text. And they were, like, prior... So they already knew. Chuck and Tex I, knew before. I, I, had, I, I had talked about, like, and even, like, group meetings, and I had talked to Tex about, it, like, the, just, like, the story of what happened. Like, they came in, and, like, it was after, uh, it was during finals week, uh, fall semester, so it was, like, December. I was just in my room. I lived in, like, a townhouse type thing, so it was, like, just, like, yeah. bottom floor and, like, two uh, just bedroom floors. Just heard, like, a huge bang on the door. I was actually smoking, and then I just looked out. I saw, like, 30 cops at the door. 30? It was crazy. They came in, guns drawn. It was nuts. The guy who had me up must have said I was like John Gotti or something because they came in, threw, threw me on the ground, like just shattered my out of mirror on my be, on my bedroom door, shattered it with a batter ram, came in, gun strong, put me down, put me in cuffs, and he yeah, arrested me. Huh. They had a warrant and everything was nuts. How much weed did he get caught with? Like honestly, it was nuts. When they had, I had like a half ounce. When they came to the time, I wasn't like selling like a crazy amount. Whoever, someone like. They were big and they're like cracking down on the dealers, or whatever. So, someone must have, someone that was selling weed too got caught. Yeah. Sold me out. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I don't really care about that to be totally honest, but I'm not sure other people, I'm not sure that I, this has to be like, I don't think that should be held against you forever, but I just gotta, uh, gotta talk to Erica a little bit because it, I don't know that. I don't know how she feels about that, and I would theoretically like defer to. I mean, she's like, it's not, you know, what, what we have to deal with, I guess, a little bit is like pros and cons of it. If that makes any sense, like, is it, is it worth, like, what, what, what benefit do we have other than the fact? I personally don't think that, like, I could care less if you dealt weed when you were like nineteen, but as long as the roof and all that shit has nothing to do with it. Yeah, no, I mean. I don't know if there's like, anybody that I would be able to just like clear it up and just tell about, like I told my story kind of I like, just told you just to like make it like clear what actually happened that I had nothing to do with anything other than weed and anything like that because like, I'd be able to tell my story and whatever yeah. platform or however I need to just yeah. to clear my name because I was when Tex had told me I was just shook up just that that was being thrown around and that was even like a thing Frank he's wearing Blink 182 shit this is what I got I mean I could go try to find like the rest, but it was like. No, I want to, but but you obviously know this. This the roof and all thing. Everybody is on the same page. That has nothing to do with it, correct? No, what I'm, what I remember is is they were all filed under the same statute. So like, I could have had a pipe, and they're gonna charge me with that as well. Correct. Because That's what he said. It's a statute. That's right. Because there's just too many. Right. There's just too many to like. Put it down and, and so it's not the real like arrest. It just it's not like a charge. It's so this is the arrest right here. Yeah. So uh, it says distribution of marijuana, possession of illegal marijuana. So if it was the roof and all, wouldn't it be listed in here? Absolutely not. Yeah, that's why I was saying like whenever people kept calling like they rape drug, like I was like that's not fair. Like cause right. So it the, well, that's what I asked you. It has nothing to do with roof and all. It's all marijuana. Okay. Okay. What is this? That was probably just all the documents. I sent him because he just sent me, he was like, send me whatever you can to clear your name. So I just sent him literally like every document that my dad had saved from the arrest. Okay. All right. All right. Go take a seat. Just continue doing this stuff there. I personally have no problem with it. I want to clear it, but. Uh, I gotta do that. I, in this case, I don't have a total final say in it. I just want to make sure Eric is cool with it, but I'm cool with it, so we'll see. I just literally anyone that I need to talk to, anyone that clear yeah. the name. I just want all I want to do is have a positive impact on this company. That's it. Right. That's but but yeah, I could see, which is not your fault, and what I'm gonna go. Like everything we do gets twisted, like just, Barstool, everything we do. So you have nothing to do with that. What, do you think that would stop Laura Wagner for being like, they just oh, no. hired a guy who I, is no, carrying around date rape drugs? No, I understand. That was that was honestly the first thing that I thought in my mind that this is going to be, uh, that's why I all just... So it'll to, be like, that's the only thing I would, and it's not fair, and frankly, I'm willing to go down, but I could easily see over and over again, Barcelona Sports hires date rape dudes, even though it's not fair to you, it's yeah. not fair to us, but it's like, 
that's our world where it's like people just make shit up about us. That's why I thought if there was a way that I could even on the radio or just make a video. It doesn't or something matter. Just like it doesn't. My... Like it doesn't matter. I like see. the people who don't like us aren't gonna be like, well, Big Ed was on the radio and clear. Like don't matter. They're gonna take that thing and they're gonna post it. I don't think it's fair. Um, I wouldn't make a decision based on that, but I could see how someone who's looking out for like the interest of our schools, like, is this a headache that we want? So that's just what we're gonna balance. I understand. I just want all I want to do is bring value. I would think I, I get think it. that would be worth more than that um, than the headache that it would cause. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. So let me. Uh, sh- I think she's in tomorrow. So just keep stay, do your thing till we get it all sorted out. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Now, one guy that doesn't work in our office this week, Aubrey Graham, better known as Drake. Yep. He had a tough week. He got dissed by Pusha T, and it was said that he has a baby mama. Well, one guy that did benefit from the situation, Za, our, our friend from Zimbabwe, he was unaware of Drake's baby mama. She's actually a somewhat of a pornographic actress. But she doesn't do sexy. She just does by herself. Well, whatever it does, it is that she does. Za got to look at it, and he was a big fan. Push it, T. Is that like salt and pepper? Like, push it? You push it real good. <laughs> this is like your, your fucking dream girl, no? You like blondes, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to send me, me that link? Yeah, look. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is like your dream girl. Oh, yeah. You see it? You see it? <laughs> Oh, I love when we can legally watch porn. Rosie Devine. Let's see what else we got here. I don't think she ever... Wait, what's her name? Rosie Devine. Rosie Devine. How the fuck do I not know about her? Well, this is this is Drake's... This is Drake's... Uh, Hypothetically. Drake. Coming in on this one. Oh, oh, oh you're, 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 you're Look at that. Uh, right up your alley. Rosie Devine. R-O-S-E-E. He's putting it in his notes. He's putting it in his notes. This is money right here. This is a great A pog. Pogs. I never knew what a pog was. I knew he liked that. I told you, it's right up there, Alex. Yeah, take his jacket off, bro. He's getting too hot. Yeah. Wow. Do you want help right now? No, I'm good. I'm good. That's cool. I'm good. It's cool. Just we we'll work on it tomorrow at like noon. We get First day internship. Peace out at five o'clock. I'm fucking with you, man. Sorry. You're good. You're good. Good first day, boys. Good first day. Get up tomorrow. You're gonna think I was. I was really fucking with you. Don't like actually. No, we're good. We're good. All right. Take it easy, double fucking gun. Double double fucking gun. Those kids. Enjoy the afternoon off. <laughs> <laughs> they're, not, they're not gonna sleep tonight. They're so worried. They're not gonna sleep. Bro, it's 514. <laughs> you stayed 14 extra minutes, man. Wait, so probably gonna play 18. <laughs> <laughs> we posted Instagram stories on the links in a couple minutes. <laughs> they're gonna be at home like, did he mean it or did he not mean it? Bro, they're, those kids aren't gonna, they're not gonna sleep, those kids. Mom, we'll be home no, tomorrow at midnight. Those, but yeah, they, yeah. They're they're like you're kidding, but they're like, Nobody thinking about it. Yeah, right. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> 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 Whoa. You ever see that Lifetime movie where the dad with the beard, he crawls into the daughter's bed and he rubs the beard against the oh, pelvis? It's like that, except it was me as a boy. I wasn't a girl. My dad always said he wishes I was a girl, put dresses on me. I found the old sports almanac, started reading about a ball. And now. I just talk hoops. <laughs> we also had a spelling bee this week. None of us fared too well in it. I did really well, actually. I made the final five. I was pretty upset because I started Fuck, talking like this. You beat me? Why are you say so surprised? I don't know, man. That I mean, I'm definitely smart. Corn fed. I mean, I'm a great competitor. I'm not a great speller. Mm-hmm. We'll see how that shakes out. I got like the hardest word ever last time. What was it? Belligerent, maybe? No, belligerent, I would nail. It was, uh, it was a word that I can't spell. And mayonnaise? Like, no, no one can spell that one. I was already gone by then. I still can't spell mayonnaise, so if they give me mayonnaise, I'll talk to them. I got uh, it's a bachelor? No, I can spell that. I got a word, like the first round of words is like pig. 
<laughs> like bacon, like house, run. And then I got like a ridiculously hard one. Yeah. And it wasn't rigged, it was what's her name doing it, but. Yeah. It's a nice setup though, it looks great. Yeah, I hope it's sponsored. Like, I don't know why we would do that. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a was, ridiculous yeah. first word. That is a crazy first round. <laughs> yeah. I think it that's like a rigged. finals of the real B word, like leprechaun. Impossible to spell. Is that weird? I was going to put an IFB in my ear and then call I'm Dallas and then have him sure. Google the words for me, but like my conscience took over. Or did you get caught? He's not bad. No, I didn't get caught. I, I told him myself. No, he just ran out of time. He was, yeah. he, it was two last minutes. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. It's official. <laughs> What's... What's up with that shirt? It's big. There's a it's lot big. of us. Yeah, yeah. Open seats. It's a lot of us. Look at Del. Buddy, yes. you won your second grade spelling bee. I did. So you should be good here. Let's see now. Ecstasy. That's big. Congratulations, buddy. E C S T A C Y. No. Oh, no, that's an X. I just spelled M O L L Y. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I don't do X to C. I'm a truck free body. But your word is hallucinogenic. Hallucinogen. H A L L U C I N O G E N. Let's go. Hey, hey, go. go. John, your word is liquor. L I Q U O R. <laughs> that's not fair. That's not fair. He invented Saturdays are for the boys. <laughs> Let's go, Trent. Win this shit. Win. I think it's E M E N T. Nailed it. All right. Winner. Congrats. Wow. Trent. Good. Now we have a new hire, Devlin. Let's get straight to it. His name is Large, which is pretty apt. It's, it's not large, ironic. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a, large he's a human. big human, which hurts all of us that happen to be shorter than the average height here. I don't know who I'm talking about. Large in stature, large in legend status. Yeah, well. so I was obviously a little bit unfamiliar to him. I look him up today, it says it was like Barstool before Barstool was big. He seems to be a pretty legitimate dude, kind of an internet legend. When are you, have you met like, how are we doing this? Does, do we know what we're doing? Uh, I mean, he's not what everybody needs to meet with. I think that maybe we should come up. So when are you publishing your first blog? Monday, Why not today? While I read. I was thinking about we should maybe like come up with like a more of a plan to like introduce him and shit. But if you want him to just roll, let it roll. I was gonna have him on record the Tuesday episode on Monday for KFC Radio. I was gonna have him on that. I was gonna take the weekend and try to come up with like some video. Like, I think let it rip. Yeah, right. yeah, whenever you're ready, let's just go. How many people here know who you are? Not only me know who you are, like, like no new ticker reports. Uh, I don't know, it was a New York thing, so I, maybe. I'm not sure. The younger kids definitely won't, but. Remember I hired Barcel Finance yeah. and you learned the word yeah, we held out with the original. Oh. That was such a funny day. Who was the guy? He was, he was he's a schoolie who works in finance. He was good. That was a funny day. We, so we were left. <laughs> it really was. We he just hired a new so vertical. It's sort of whole okay, new vertical. It was such a different parcel. We were allowed to do that. Back yeah. Then. We were yeah. allowed to just bring on anybody we wanted. So like, I was like, this guy's good. And so, but we had just sold to turn him and Dave just learned the word vertical that day. And so he wrote a blog and he used the word vertical like 10,000 times. Like, he's trying to start a new vertical. And we're like, what does vertical even mean? He got like, obsessed with like, he got obsessed with boondocks. Yeah, like he just like learns something. And then he just word. runs with it. So, School Finance did one blog and was never heard from again. Oh, we actually, talked to him no, ever fun again? fact, fun there, fact, he created a commenter name and he went crazy in the comment section, like, fuck you, Dave. There are, <laughs> there are rumors, really? there are rumors that School Finance was just made the whole time. No, it was like a smart blog. I have no idea how, no. Good point. Some yeah. people say you're very smart, one of the best bloggers. Some people no, say but it was like smart finance. How did you describe yourself in the rundown? 
above average to good vlogger. <laughs> Depending on how tired I am. Modesty. Today. It's modesty. <laughs> that is modesty, dude. Don't sell yourself short. The problem is we keep, I, I keep getting worse as a vlogger because we keep hiring blo better vloggers than me, so they keep bumping me down. That's true. You were like, good like when there was only white dudes in the league and then yeah. they start adding <laughs> yeah. in like... Then we start hiring Francis and shit. And like, That's oh. true. Yeah, that I'm, is just true. Yeah. I'm still one of the best in the world. You had like six titles in like 1940. Yeah. But then nothing happened. I'm like, an, you I'm would like be the on original six people. I'm not the Rangers. I'm like the Canadians. Right. You like, would be I have a, all the cups, but. You would be a tweaker that Tyler would go on about like, look how outdated this shit is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sad. That's kind of mean, actually. Actually, no, I'll be the Jerry Racer. That's good. Yeah. I'll take that. Anyways. I'm still, I'm still a Hall of Fame career as a <laughs> But they're like, could he play in today's era? Yeah, I'm like Wayne Gretzky. I, I couldn't play in today's <laughs> NHL. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm the, I'm the Wayne Gretzky of vlogging. <laughs> Perfectly said. Woo! Facts. Double Vodka Don went on the radio after we didn't know his fate earlier. Dave said. Stakes.com. Type Barstool in the search bar and add the Father's Day gift package to your cart. Uh, the first week of the new summer interns. People hate the Double Vodka Don. Really hateable guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, you do. People hate you, right? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of haters out there. Yeah, for sure. yeah, they they hate the double pocket on. I, I like the I, I ruffle, like the I ruffle some feathers. Yeah, I I don't think you really did intentionally. I think you've been so double pocket on. For those who don't know who he is, he was Ohio State Viceroy. He'd make these videos. Uh, what was it? Well, you, uh, you double vodka don. It's your boy Big Ev. 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 AKA the double vodka don. AKA your wife's favorite big boy. <laughs> AKA your mom's favorite friends. AKA the king of the Hawaiian. A lot of names. A lot of names. names. <laughs> We've had a uh, roller coaster, I would say. Couple first days. I don't know why people don't like you. He, he seemed, you seem to me like one of the more motivated people he's got a presence. He's got a presence about him, too. Like, oh, the videos, yeah. are those one-take videos or what? Yeah, usually, I mean... Yeah, I mean, you got... I think, you talk I think with the confidence. biggest thing is most people, like, you might just judge me off, like, the videos. I think most people, when you get to know me, you're going to see I'm a good guy, a genuine guy. I think in my in my life, most... I haven't had a ton of people who've, like, met me and been around me who didn't like me. Yeah. No, I, I mean, cool. oh, listen. Yeah. I mean, no, I think that's... It's just, you're I, 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 I would wear a double walk What is there not to like? Just for the record. It's not great, but it's selling weed. Who cares? A nineteen-year-old. Like, I mean, if you haven't noticed, Big Ev's a hustler. Clearly, he's a hustler, like, baby. Like I was running white cards in middle school. Wait, wait, yeah, right, I mean, right, right, right. Za, well, it was it in was, the moment. Yeah, yeah yes, Listen, it was. Za, my African midget, was selling, selling porn. black black porn. I mean, black market porn. I was running white cards in middle school. You got to hustle, whatever. You got to do what you got to do. I don't. To survive. I don't mind about dealing weed. The roof and all, major problem. He got, at some he point. got railroaded. Yeah. By that Reddit thread more than probably anybody we've been associated with. The haters and the losers, of which there are many. I mean, it's just such a obviously a huge discrepancy from. It's a and, and selling like, weed major and accusation of throwing. Yeah, yeah. the double vodka don was not actually invited right. to be an intern, which like, is t tried and true. The very to move. just show up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like, I walked in and Gasger has been like, uh, "Double vodka don's here." I'm like, "What?" Uh, he's like, "Yeah, double vodka don's here." So then I talked to him. We had the talk exactly what I just said. It's like, I, I'm fine with it. I, I had to make sure the uh, you, everything you said about the charges was accurate, and it is. And talked to Erica. She's like, yeah, no, terrible reason. So that's how the double buck of Dawn is now here, sitting in front of us. So you've had a uh, roller coaster, I would say. And it's always weird how you know people find their way here, whether it be you or whether it be YP. But if you're yeah. willing to drop everything and like somehow come here... That's a good, and I don't want people doing it. I was gonna so say I hate. Do it. I hate to encourage the like just show up because that is probably gonna fail ninety nine point nine percent of the time. But if you have something to offer and you maybe go a non traditional route, and the fact that but he you recognize right away, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, he has a presence and he speaks well on video and stuff. But the fact that you recognize right away that like everything is content, good, bad, like you look stupid, whatever, it's it's funny. The blog was gonna be funny. That's more than you know the average intern who just sat here like. Well, I have a degree in communications. <laughs> so, I'm back after the break on Barcelona. Double Vodka Dawn, here to stay. DVD. 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 <laughs> you can leave now, Double Vodka Dawn. Appreciate it, guys. Stool Scenes, episode 65. We couldn't figure out any great 65s. I spent days. I'm gonna have a book on it. This uh, this 65 has balls. The book Whoa! Of it. Whoa! Intro from my dad. 
Trent's dad might write a piece. That'd be great. And I'd love to meet your dad. Here's the six Your players. dad, too. 